Sooner Scoop HD. Uh, it felt good, you know. Uh, blessed to be out, uh, back out there with my boys. The speed of the offense overall was it? I mean, it, was it as fast as you were expecting it to be? Was it faster? How'd you handle it on the field? Uh, I definitely say it was faster. Uh, you know, the game always kind of speeds up more than practice. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit challenging, but you know, we work hard and we condition ourselves just to be prepared for that moment. So you know, it's all good. Was the season opener kind of good just to I mean, maybe get used to that kind of tempo and get comfortable? In it? Yeah. So all week we were saying like uh, the first game is just you know just a starting point, just to see where everybody's at with everything. So. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think it was a great starting point, and I, I definitely think we also handled it well. What maybe surprised you even about the pace you've been practicing in since, since March, the pace of play? Just how fast, just, just how fast the signals are getting called in, and like the defense is really never set. Like it's, it's crazy when you see it in practice, but it's, it's really crazy when you see it in the game. So yeah, that's probably the biggest part. <laughs> Oh, that, that that opens up opportunities for everybody, um, you know, because a linebacker is over one gap. You got an 80 yard run right up the middle of the field, so it's just busted coverages. They're not set. Bad communication in the back end for the defenses. So, you know, it plays a part in everything. Theo, you know, that that second catch, catch, and you make someone miss. Did that let you know you you were back, or did you even need a moment like that? No, nah, I should have went and scored. Honestly, uh, I was kind of mad at myself uh, right after the play, and then I got more mad after I watched it on the big screen. But uh, no, I felt like I didn't really need anything to just bring me back. You know, I, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of ball so far. Uh, but yeah, I should have scored on that. Did that feel like Baylor in 2019? <laughs> I, I should have made it look like Baylor in 2019. I should have went and scored still. Um, it it kind of felt a little similar. I kind of watched it back, and I can kind of see how everybody's saying it looks the exact same how I scored out. But yeah, definitely should have scored. Anything else? The release to Temple. What's been your uh, assessment of what's important to make you guys go as fast as you can? I think it starts with the, um, the O-line first. I feel like the O-line, we, we play as fast as the O-line plays. So after the ball is you know, snapped, at, oh, and first, make sure you get the ball into the inside ref. So refs aren't playing a hot potato with it and all that. But definitely with the O-line, um, I just feel like once they're already set, it's, it's not that hard to get set on the outside of the receivers. So once the O-line gets set and they set the tempo, it's easy to feed off. What, what are those guys, what's, what, what was the conversation or the sense that you got from that O-line the first time in a game where they're having to hustle up and get up there? What was the sense you got from them about how they felt like it? Was? They were pretty excited, exact, um, actually, at how fast we were scoring. You know, I mean, we get off the field quicker, get more better, chill, coach B, <laughs> stuff like that. I definitely think they handled it well. Yeah. yeah. Is it, with those guys, I know it has to be physical. They've got to be in yeah. shape enough to, to move it. But how much of the mental side of things is in play for them to, to keep that to Oh, the, the mental side is, is big just because we're playing so fast. You got to be able to recognize different things at certain times and, you know, just be able to execute your job at the highest level. Theo, uh, Jeff talked about the ball m mechanics, about getting it in, back into the end, uh, inside. Is that something you've been doing the last couple of years too, or, or uh, no? Not at all. Uh, last couple of years, I'd probably lead the ball down, I'd throw it to the sideline, or just do anything wild. But now I actually got like a trigger in my head. You can actually see it on one of my catches. The ref was right in front of me asking for the ball, but I knew I had to go to the middle. So it, it kind of just clicks in your head, and you know, and once you got it, you, know, you stick with it. I think what was that on that game? Because Lenny did Got you know, like the sideline, yeah. tossed to the wrong spot. But yeah. it did it all translate? And now you're like in the stadium, fans, everything like that. Yeah, it translated perfectly. Just like I uh, said with my example with my second catch, the ref was literally right in front of me asking for the ball. I almost gave it to him. Like, like, I almost gave it to him, but like something just clicked in my head. I knew I had to get to the middle of the field. Seeing him do it in practice now for a month, plus spring practice and all that. But how impressive was it to see Dylan operate this offense out there on Saturday? Oh, he just looks like he just looks like the teacher in the classroom. Honestly. He looks so comfortable and just poised and you know he just you can just tell he's out there playing with a lot of confidence. So you know I love to see that on the quarterback.
that comfort he has, when you mentioned the O-line being so crucial to, to this offense moving fast, but how yeah. important is it having him too, being that almost calm in the middle of it all? Oh, you can definitely, you, you can see DG after every play. He's the first one telling everybody to, you know, get back to the line. And, you know, that just that just plays a big part. Once the quarterback is helping as well, you know, everybody can feed off of that. Watching it back yesterday, what do you guys feel like offensively? I feel like we can just, you know, just make more plays. You know, there's always more plays to be made. Uh, you know, more effort all over the field. Um, you know, just keep finishing plays, just keep stacking the days. Everything will take care of itself. Going back to the side of the game, just what was kind of going through your mind? Thoughts, feelings, emotions as you're putting that jersey on, getting ready to go back on? Yeah, so I don't really get those uh, game day jitters anymore. I kind of grew up out of that. But, you know, it was just an honor to be back out there in front of uh, in front of the Sooner fans, you know, after just missing last season. So I was just excited about that. Sooner Scoop HD.